All right, so people, hold on. Let me take my shirt. All right, so I keep getting people coming up to me talking about, oh, make sure you vote, and I'm looking at them, or or they say, are you registered to vote and all that, right? Well, first of all, let me tell y'all something about me. I ain't got no dogs in that race. I do not. I am not in that world, and I do not participate in politicking. Okay. Um, not to say that I don't, I guess it, I don't know, I, I, I guess it's a benefit if y'all feel like it's a benefit, but to me, I don't see the point of it because I see it from a higher level. When these politics, politicians come, they come, they promise y'all, they say, hey, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to change. They put a whole bunch of taxes on the ballot, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you say. They're going to make what hap what they want happen happen, regardless of what the people say. The people think they have a choice. It's the illusion of freedom. You think you have a freedom of choice, and the only choice of freedom you have is to not participate in that bullshit. When you continue to participate in that system, that's what gives the system energy to continue to operate, okay? So, like I said, they're going to do what they want to do. If you look up Agenda 21... <laughs> they already have the agenda that they're trying to put in place for the system. They already have the agenda planned out on what they're going to do. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people think. They're going to implement their policies and how they want anyway. So if you have a particular candidate that you like, he he or she is most likely backed up by a whole bunch of sponsors and people that have money. Okay, so these people that have money that are throwing it at them saying here, we're going to sponsor you. But because we sponsor you, you're going to you pretty much work for us. Okay, so you do what we say because we're sponsoring you. Right. You can't go against the money. Right. And so therefore, they still have people that they're answering to. So in actuality, these politicians aren't making any decisions. It's the big corporations. It's still the higher ups that are making all the decisions. Even when you think about the president of the United States, right? He is just the CEO of a corporation. He is not no leader. He's not no controller. He is just the representative for the people that really run this shit. The people that run the banks. The people that own all the, um, yeah, like the Federal Reserves. It's a pro these private organizations. All of these people are the real people that are making the decisions within this system. The only way to truly change this system is to develop a whole new system. Is to leave this one alone and to implement a whole nother system. Put a whole nother something in place. That is the only way things are going to change. So if you keep thinking that you run into the polls and your vote counts and all that, then you are a sheeple. And I'm sorry to tell you that. But it don't matter. I was in that world before. I've tried that. I've heard stories about people that, that sit on these boards, sit on these um, committees and what they talk about. And if you're not friends with them, if you're not in the networks, if you're not buddy-buddy and with all that, you really cannot make no significant change. The only way to change is for the people to wake up, come together, and get rid of this political system. Now, I don't know how to change it. That's something that I have not been opened up to know, but that's one thing for sure. So if you ask me if I'm voting or whether I'm registered and all that, the answer is no. I am not in that world. I don't operate in that. I am in this world, but I am not of it. And I will say that again. I am in this world because I was born here. I was born on this land um, this, this, I was born in this massive land that is known as the United States of America, but I am not of this world. Therefore, the way that it operates and how they do is not where my mindset is. I am on something new. I am on something totally different. I am creating my life and I'm doing what I need to do so that I can fill my soul's purpose and really do what we're supposed to do here on this planet. And that is to ascend to the next realm, if you know what I mean. But if you're not there yet, then that is something beyond my explanation. So I will end it here. So therefore, <laughs> I will talk to you later. Make sure you subscribe though. Tell me what you think. And like I said, I don't knock anybody who does it. I just don't. That's my own personal preference, my own personal thing, and I ain't got to do it because I don't have to think like you. All right, so one more thing. 
if you don't think that the people that are the higher ups are using ancient knowledge to build and control this third dimensional reality, then you are being ignorant and you are being blind. These people are using rituals, they're using dark magic, and they're taking the knowledge of our ancestors from um, ancient times, such as the Kemetic spiritual systems, such as... Um, the uh orisha knowledge uh whatever they are taking all of this information and they're using it against you they're using it against the world so that they can create this agenda so they can create this dimension that we are living in the stuff that we see is somebody's manifestation they hid it from the people by implementing educational systems, church systems, and certain things that block us out of truth. And right now is the time to get up on this knowledge and create your own reality, create your world. Because if you do not, you will perish. My people perish from the lack of knowledge. And lack of knowledge is not just information. Lack of knowledge is knowing why you're you, what, you're, what it is and why you need to use it and why you need to know this knowledge and to actually put it in place, put it in action. All right. So that's what knowledge and wisdom is. OK. And they're using it against you. They're using it to create these political parties. They're using it to create um, the entertainment industry. They're using it to build these structures around us. And eventually these structures are going to start getting more and more closed in. And it's going to be harder and harder to get out. So while the veil is lifting and while this information is here, I suggest you get up on it because if you don't get up on it, Huh, you're gonna regret it please catch this knowledge darling and ascend darling like we're supposed to we're not supposed to be stuck here okay we are spiritual beings having a an human experience and it is time for us to be the spiritual beings that we are and get to the other next realm that we're supposed to be in and i know it sounds crazy especially when you've been reading up on it so i will save that for another video for another video if i can just talk right right anyways i will save all that for another video and i will talk to you later make sure you subscribe <laughs> two reasons two reasons i don't vote first of all it's meaningless this country was bought and sold and paid for a long time ago the shit they shuffle around every four years <laughs> doesn't mean a fucking thing and secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. People like to twist that around, I know. They say, they say, well, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. But where's the logic in that? If you vote and you elect dishonest, incompetent people and they get into office and screw everything up, well, you are responsible for what they have done. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. I, on the other hand, who did not vote, who did not vote, who, in fact, did not even leave the house on election day, am in no way responsible for what these people have done and have every right to complain as loud as I want about the mess you created that I had nothing to do with.